candidate of the People's Democratic Party. In the 2023 elections, Atiku Abubakar has faulted the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wale Edun, and the federal government's plans to deploy 20 trillion naira of pension funds for infrastructure development in Nigeria. The finance minister revealed the plans at the Federal Executive Council meeting on Tuesday, stating that the government is focused on tapping into domestic financial resources for national growth, adding that it was a significant step towards driving economic progress and addressing critical infrastructure needs. Let's take a look before we take Atiku's reaction. The fact is that even before we start looking to foreign investors, we start looking to foreign funding, there is available in Nigeria long-term funds to fund infrastructure projects. And it's within the uh, pension, uh, the in life insurance, and investment fund industry generally. There is offers of 20 trillion naira available, and much of it is in short-term funding that it doesn't need to be. Pension money is long-term. People save over their lifetime for their pension. And so, in conversation, in consultation, collaboration, and cooperation with the private sector, we are now able to announce, and uh, uh, with the full knowledge and um, support of all parties, that there will be an initiative to fund growth through investment in infrastructure, including housing, provision of mortgages, long-term mortgages, 25-year mortgages at relatively low interest rates. Initially, of course, the government will, will, will stand back and provide some support, particularly in this era of high interest rates. But eventually, as interest rates come down, there should be less role for the government through providing, for example, guarantees and so forth. Uh, of course, you know, this um, is coming at a wrong time. A lot of Nigerians have condemned this actual um, action because, uh, like you know, pension mm -hmm. funds can only contribute about 5% on, you know, infrastructural development. Mm -hmm. So we need more explanation as to, you know, how these monies will be um, dispersed. But, you know, Atiku, um, you know, condemned it as well. And his tweets reads in part... He provided no useful details, such as the percentage of the funds to be mopped up from the pension funds. Even at that, this move must be halted immediately. It is a misguided initiative that could lead to a disastrous consequence on the lives of Nigeria's hardworking men and women who toiled and saved and who now survive on their pensions, having retired from service. It is another attempt to perpetrate illegality by the federal government, the government must be cautioned to act strictly within the provisions of the Pension Reform Act of 2014, along with the revised regulation on investment of pension assets issued by the National Pension Commission. There are no easy ways for Mr. Edun to address the challenges of funding infrastructure development in Nigeria. He can't cut corners. He must introduce the necessary reforms to restore investor confidence in the Nigerian economy and to leverage private resource skills and technology. Uh, Rufai, over to you. I mean, Audrey, this matter concerns me because I have my money, my pension money in that 20 trillion. Mm -hmm. Please don't touch my money. Don't touch my pension funds. Don't touch my future. I beg you. If you cannot get money to run a nation, that's your problem. You campaigned that you were going to get money to run a nation effectively and provide infrastructure. Don't touch our pension fund. The law talks about 5% infrastructure because you don't want to hedge the future of workers that you can't even pay 70,000 wage now. Pensions that are very low already. Since we came to this pension scheme under Lucio Gombas and Joe, don't touch it. It's not today they've been muting this idea. They've just seen the affairs. It grew from about 13 trillion a couple of years ago to about now 20 trillion. You just see the post that you want to touch it. Don't touch the PSEs. Don't touch it at all. Because we've seen the recklessness at which you manage it. You are talking about funds and things like that. It's only the statutory 5% you should mop up. The rest, don't touch it. Because you have done nothing to help the workers. There's still a lot of pensions being owed by, by state governments. Yes. 
still owe these workers a lot of the pension. Pension arrears is still a lot of money that is being owed. If that money comes into the fund, the pot should be bigger than it. So please, let's not even go there at all. You have tax people, there's inflation raging hard, and the little thing about their future, now you want to go ahead and you are muting the idea. Don't even think of it at all. Atiku Abaka is 100% correct on this. Mm -hmm. Apart from the 5% threshold you can touch for infrastructure investment, don't touch it for all that because we've seen how you mismanage the money, inflate contracts and things like that. Then you're talking about pension fund, where the coastal road is not of priority, you are going to expand over 1 trillion. You quickly approve money now for the section 2 of the coastal road. Maybe I say you can fix that money to housing and other things. Don't touch pension, and I know I'm speaking the minds of millions of Nigerian workers this morning. Don't touch it. All right. Leave it alone. I mean, this is the uh, uh, great what thing. Is it? This is a great thing of having a strong, uh, you know, opposition. I mean, we have seen Atikwa Bubaka, you know, always come out to challenge the federal government. And I 